Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We have an exclusive report as tensions keep rising in Ukraine. Germany has delivered Leopard 2A6 tanks to Ukraine, and this tank is considered among the best tanks in the world. American Cognition presents a detailed analysis and review of the German Leopard 2A6 and its opponent, Russian T-90M tank, which may soon face each other in future battles in Ukraine. The Leopard 2A6 is a German main battle tank that has been continually upgraded since its introduction in the late 1970s. The Russian T-90M, also known as ProReev, breakthrough in English, is a modernized version of the T-90, a Russian tank that first entered service in the 1990s. When comparing the capabilities of the Leopard 2A6 and the T-90M, several factors can be considered. The Leopard 2A6 is armed with a 190mm, 55 caliber smoothbolt gun, which provides improved accuracy and penetration capabilities compared to its predecessor, the Leopard 2A5. The T90M features an upgraded 125mm smoothbolt gun, which also provides good accuracy and penetration capabilities. When firing modern APFSDS rounds like the Svinets 1 or the Svinets 2, the T90M can engage targets at a range of up to 4,000 meters, 2.5 miles. Moreover, the T90M has the ability to fire the reflex, which is coded by NATO as AT-11 Sniper, anti-tank guided missiles, which can effectively engage enemy armor at long ranges. The reflex missile has a range of approximately 4 to 5 kilometers and is designed to penetrate modern composite and reactive armor, making it a powerful weapon against enemy tanks. This missile capability gives the T-90M a significant advantage in terms of standoff range and versatility, allowing it to engage targets from a safer distance compared to the conventional tank rounds. This capability is not available on the Leopard 2A6 smoothbolt gun. Both tanks have advanced fire control systems, making them highly effective against enemy armor. The Leopard 2A6 is powered by a 1500 horsepower MTU diesel engine, giving it a top speed of around 68 km per hour, with a range of approximately 500 km. The T90M is equipped with a 1130 horsepower diesel engine, which provides a top speed of 60 km per hour and a range of around 550 km. While the Leopard 2A6 has a slightly higher top speed, the T90M has a marginally longer operational range. The Leopard 2A6 has a reverse speed of up to 31 km per hour, which is quite fast for a main battle tank. This reverse speed allows the Leopard 2A6 to quickly disengage from a dangerous situation or reposition itself for a better firing angle. Compared to the T90M, which has a reverse speed of around 21 km per hour, the Leopard 2A6 has an advantage in maneuverability during combat scenarios. The faster reverse speed can provide a tactical edge by enabling the Leopard 2A6 to evade enemy fire, change positions or withdraw from an unfavorable situation more quickly than the T90M. The Leopard 2A6 is equipped with advanced composite armor, which has been further enhanced with the addition of modular armor on the turret. The T90M features the Relict explosive reactive armor, which provides superior protection against modern anti-tank munitions compared to the composite armor used on the Leopard 2A6. Additionally, the T-90M's Afghanit active protection system is designed to intercept incoming projectiles, further enhancing its defensive capabilities. Both tanks can be equipped with APS active protection system, such as the Leopard 2A6 Rafael trophy system made by Israel and the T-90M's Afghanit system, which can intercept incoming anti-tank missiles. Both the Leopard 2A6 and T90M have modern digital communication and data sharing systems, allowing them to integrate with other units on the battlefield for improved situational awareness and coordination. In conclusion, the Leopard 2A6 and the T90M both possess advanced capabilities in terms of firepower, mobility, protection and networking. While the Leopard 2A6 may have an edge in terms of firepower and mobility, the T90M's upgraded armor and protection system make it a 
formidable adversary. The outcome of a potential engagement between these two tanks would depend on various factors, such as crew training, tactics and a specific combat situation. The T-90M has a lower profile than the Leopard 2A6, which can make it a more difficult target to detect and engage, especially in a hull-down position. This reduced visibility can provide a tactical advantage on the battlefield. The T-90M has a crew of three, commander, driver and gunner, thanks to the use of an automatic loading system. The reduced crew size allows for a more compact and lighter tank which can contribute to improved mobility and the lower profile on the battlefield. The auto-loader system used in the T-90M ensures a consistent rate of fire regardless of the crew's fatigue or experience, unlike the manual loading process in the Leopard 2A6. The loss of a crew member could have a more significant impact on the tank's overall effectiveness as each crew member is responsible for multiple tasks. Some argue that autoloaders can be less reliable or slower than a well-trained human loader. The Leopard 2A6 has a crew of four, including commander, driver, gunner and loader. A dedicated loader can potentially achieve a faster rate of fire, especially if they're experienced and well-trained, but the tank is more dependent on the loader's performance, which can be influenced by factors such as fatigue or lack of experience. The T-90M is the latest generation of main battle tank designed and developed by the Russian defense industry. It also has some weaknesses when compared to the Leopard 2A6. In terms of firepower, the Leopard 2A6 is equipped with a 120mm 55 caliber smoothbore gun with better accuracy and penetration capabilities compared to the T-90M's 125mm smoothbore gun. The longer barrel of the Leopard 2A6's gun can lead to higher muzzle velocities and better armor penetration at long ranges. The Leopard 2A6 has a faster turret travel speed than the T-90M, which allows it to acquire and engage targets more quickly. This can be a crucial factor in fast-paced combat situations. It is important to note that these weaknesses do not necessarily imply that the T-90M is an inferior tank to the Leopard 2A6. The outcome of an engagement between these two tanks would depend on various factors, such as crew training, tactics and the specific combat scenario. Moreover, the T-90M has its own strength, such as superior protection and a lower profile, which could be decisive in certain situations.